Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray, and as I promised you guys last week, today I'm going to show you how to make two other dishes based on last week's Italian ball recipe. And if you haven't watched that video already, I'll put the link here, so click on it, and go back to this video after you watch that video. So, the two dishes that we're making today are Italian ball pasta and Italian ball sub. Let's cook! The first one is not even a recipe, you just have to heat up some water with olive oil and a pinch of salt. And once it starts boiling, put your pasta in, in this case I'm using tagliatelle, but you can use any pasta you like. Mix it occasionally. And once your pasta is to your liking, in my case it's al dente, drain the water, but leave some of those starchy water, because it's gonna help thicken the sauce and make it stick to the pasta better. Add a few tablespoons of the tomato sauce from the meatball, Mix it well with the pasta, put it on a plate, top it with some meatballs and more of the sauce, and finally top it with some parmesan crisps, which I featured in last week's recipe, as well as some fresh basil leaves. And there you have it guys, my Italian meatball pasta. To make the sub, first prepare the bread and also slice up some mozzarella cheese. Place the meatballs on the baguette. Top it with some sauce and smear some more sauce on the bread as well. Top it with some mozzarella that you have sliced earlier and pop it into a preheated oven at 250 degrees celsius for 5 minutes or until it looks like this and now I'm gonna create a simple green salad start by squeezing some lemon onto a mixed crust salad you can use any type of green you like for this recipe add some olive oil, salt, pepper and mix it well and top it onto the sub Close it and cut it into portions and it's ready to serve. And there you have it guys, my Italian meatball sub. I hope those two simple recipes inspire you to make more recipes based on Italian meatballs because these things are really versatile, you can actually make anything out of it. So get creative in the kitchen and happy cooking. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And here are the links to my previous videos, so check it out guys. Links and measurements gonna be in the description box below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you wanna see me cook next week. See you next time guys, bye!